If you've got a simple Arduino project that uses only a few pins, you might be able to shrink it down to a single small chip. Doing so can save you a lot of money and it's actually pretty easy. I'll show you how. This technique comes to us from MIT Media Lab's Hilo Tech Group, and I like it a lot because you're still using Arduino code to program the chip. Let's take a look at what you need. An Arduino Uno or Dewey Milanove to act as the programmer. An ATtiny45 or ATtiny85 chip. They're cheap, about 250 each. A 10 microfarad capacitor. A solderless breadboard. Some jumpers. And whatever components you'll need for your project. I'll assume you already have the Arduino IDE installed and you're already familiar with how to upload sketches to the board. Start by downloading the additional hardware support files from the High Low Tech Group site. Create a folder called Hardware within your Arduino sketchbook folder and drop the folder you downloaded into it. Now open up the Arduino IDE. If you've installed the files correctly, you should see a few new selections available under the board menu. Now let's set up the Arduino to program the chip. First, open the Arduino ISP sketch from the Examples menu and upload that to your Uno or Due Milanove board. When you're done, you can close that sketch. Then place the ATtiny chip on the breadboard. The dot indicates the upper left side of the chip and pin number 1. The rest of the pins are numbered around the horn like this. With the Arduino close by, connect Arduino pin 10 to ATtiny pin 1. Connect Arduino pin 11 to pin 5. Arduino pin 12 goes to pin 6, and Arduino pin 13 goes to pin 7. Send power from your Arduino to the rails of your breadboard and connect the chips pin 4 to ground and pin 8 to 5 volts like this. Just one last step to set up your Arduino as the programmer. Put the 10 microfarad capacitor between the ground and reset pin. Remember that electrolytic capacitors like this one are polarized, so the negative side must go to ground. So let's test it out now. Open up the Blink example sketch in the Arduino IDE. This sketch will blink an LED on pin 13. However, there's no pin 13 on this chip, so we'll just have to change it to one of the I.O. pins available, 0 through 4. Refer to this diagram to determine which I.O. pin is which. Keep in mind they're numbered differently than the package's pin numbers. For this example, I'll blink pin 3. Make those changes and select the appropriate chip from the board menu with the Arduino as ISP. Go ahead and upload the sketch. You may see an error that says you have to define page L and BS2 signals, but don't worry about that, it should have worked just fine. To prove it, hook up an LED. If you see it blinking, you know you've done it right. Now you can get rid of all the Arduino connections and power it with just a battery. I used the ATtiny to make a little blinky toy like this one. Another advantage of these small chips is that they use less power than the Arduino, but they also come with a few drawbacks. There's not as much memory for your sketches, and not all Arduino functions will work. You'll just have to try it and see what works for you. So check out the write-up by MIT Media Lab's High Low Tech Group. I'll put a link in the description below. Until next time, so long.